Before this video starts, I just want to say that 1.3% of you guys are actually subscribed. So get on below this video and click that little red subscribe button to help me keep making videos for you guys. Thanks! Hello everyone, my name is Mango and welcome back to the channel. And in our last episode, we talked about roads, like this one right behind me. And today, we're going to talk about the more advanced types of roads. So these are only two of the roads that I have set up for right now. Um, I will probably make a part two for this video showing off more roads, but this is just kind of all I have time for. Um, they're pretty basic. It's basically just the same road with two different layouts. Uh, this one over here is your average um, three lanes on both sides highway. Uh, we got a um, street, um, street sign here. For exits, this one has the signs on it and stuff. You can put whatever you want on here, like um, exit, and then like the exit name, like the road. And for this here, I have an arrow. If you guys want to know how to make the item frame invisible, um, I will leave a link, um, or not a link. I'll I'll, um, I'll make a comment at the comment section. I'll make it pinned, and I'll um, put the command for that down there. Keep in mind that only works in Java. Um, you can do it with on Bedrock, but you'll need a um, a resource pack. Um, over here we have your average street lamp. I showed this one off in the last episode. This one's just um, double double um, lights now, unlike the other one, which was just one on one side. But this one covers both sides of the road. Down here we have the road markers, so here's the yellow line, that just means it's the end of the lane, or end of your side of the road, so you can't pass this or whatever. Um, the lane dividers, and then the solid white line, meaning you can't pass this. Um, and then over here you just have space to pull over if like, your car breaks down or something. And it's the same on the other side. In the middle we have the... Um, the uh, middle divider, uh, just so if, if there's a vehicle accident, somebody swerves out to the other side, they're not going into oncoming traffic. Uh, these have save a, saved a lot of lives, and um, if you're building a highway, I highly recommend putting down one of these or making like a um, a five block gap in between each side of like of grass like this. Alright, so on to the next road. We have pretty much the same thing, just a little bit different. It's a um, three lanes on both sides road. It's just a bit more simple, not really used for highways because there's trees in the middle. You normally don't find trees in the middle of your highway. Um, this is more like a road that would be right off of a highway, like if you're exiting. Um, mostly where I live, my Highways are pretty jam-packed with cars most of the time, and when there's a vehicle accident, everybody tries to get off the highway, so there's really big roads to accommodate for that, so then there isn't a whole bunch of traffic. But most of the time, there's still traffic. Um, so feel free to, you know, make your roads as big as you want. Um, I'd say three, three, um, three lanes on each side is the biggest you want to go for, like, your average road you can you can do four for like your average kind of um, urban road but I recommend not doing that um, just because it doesn't really look that good it just looks like there's too many lanes for no reason um, but also you should make sure that you are changing in certain places how many lanes there are on the roads so let's say if I was in like a suburban neighborhood you'd probably only want one one lane like like this road over here this is actually a perfect example um just one lane going that way another lane going that way and then your sidewalks and um, yeah just the concrete on the edge for the um water uh, sewer sewer lines whatever they're called um i just put some trees here um I was kind of lazy, so I didn't put custom ones down, but I highly recommend making custom trees. Um, 
If you guys want me to, I will make a quick tutorial on how to make small custom trees using like fences and um, leaves like that would be that would be your trunk and then you know you you just make the um, outer outer tree like this. And this isn't the best example. I've I've made better ones, but if you're just really pressed on time or if you're on bedrock edition and you can't or ha or you're having trouble with cloning or I don't know if you're making this in survival, you can just do these. But if you're really um, interested in kind of um, going the distance really and um, or going the extra mile and making the nice custom trees, I will be happy to make a tutorial if that is requested by you guys. Also, thank you for um, 1k views on the last road tutorial. I really appreciate it guys. You have no idea how much that means to me. I honestly never thought I'd get that many views on any of my videos or that many views in total of my channel. So I really appreciate that guys. This is what's kind of motivated me to make this video. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this. That's going to wrap up this video. Um, again, let me know if you guys want me to make the custom tree um tutorial i'll be happy to make it if you guys want it super simple trees i'll give a few examples of them and um also let me know if you guys want a tutorial of the street signs and the lamps and maybe even the roads i'll be happy to make tutorials for those too um so yeah thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one thank you guys